check this out. This like pinnacle of uh, of uh, munitions technology. Like a micro sport. Yeah. If you were a poor kid any time in the last probably 40 years or so, you're probably familiar with these little squirt guns. I wanted to wait until I was with the Deviant Historian to shoot this video because we, we shot that video years ago about my, my confession video. Yeah, you're stealing from some poor rich kid. Yeah, about how, I, yeah about how my parents and I sort of stole a super soaker from a kid in a park on the last day of summer vacation. And I like the imagery here of like me holding up this squirt gun with the fire behind it. Yeah. But you want to fill it up with the water? Yeah. Hey, cool, man. Yeah. There's what? Talk about serendipity. We just happen to have water right here. That wasn't even planned. But you just dunk it in here. See the bubbles? Oh yeah. And then you close that up. The thing about this thing is that it does work. It squirted a little bit on the fire, but I don't want you taking it out. Yeah. The way you get this primed, and I, I, I figured this out as a kid, is that you have to close up the... close up the... the you build up a lot of pressure. Yeah. Build up a lot of pressure, and there you go. Wow. It's really coming out. Yeah. The one engineering flaw is that the trigger, the, the, that, that whole area there, that is not watertight. So you lose about half the water through that, through the, the, where the trigger enters the body of the gun. Is this like a 99 cent one back in the day? Or? Yeah, this would have been like a Dollar General type gun. And I mean, it works, man. I mean, it's, it's yeah, cool. laser, bla laser blazer, it says on the side. Concealed carry permit. Yeah. But I mean, like, if you, if you were a, a, a poor kid, a not so well off kid, and uh, or for one reason or another your parents weren't hip enough to buy you a super soaker this is kind of what you had I have a cousin that his mother wouldn't even let him own that yeah she didn't want him any type of gun you don't be cool with that we though. don't believe in guns in this family but her grandkids like a total hunter psychopath will just kill anything yeah but then her son like yeah she wouldn't let him have any, even a little gun like that it's like this is a weapon and I'm a mom against firearms and blah, blah, blah. All you do then is you, you fetishize guns then. Yeah. Like all the kids grow up to have gun fetishes after that. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, there's my M16, baby. Boom, boom, boom. I'm a bad boy. Yeah. But, no, I'll probably put the, the video of the... I consider this kind of the sequel to the Super Soaker video, yeah. confession video, because this kind of shows you that what I had versus what that kid had and how... It's funny how my parents basically knew what was going on, and they just went ahead. We were all kind of complicit in... Co-conspirers to it, hustle some kid out of his super soaker. I mean, we were driving away, and we we were, like, looking out the back window at the kid, like, looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, well, maybe it's his, maybe it isn't. It was it was laying there, and you know, close to the, close to the swing set, and uh, we'll just take it, you know. Mm -hmm. Kid should have should have uh, looked after his things better kept a better just keep her fool kept a closer eye on his stuff but it's colorful that's another thing you should get some of the fire man it's really pretty right now yeah and just this bonfire and stuff but yep there's the laser blazer dollar general style that uh, dollar tree but big ball or dollar general you think yeah well yeah because there this would have predated dollar tree huh. dollar tree didn't at least around here, I didn't yeah. really come out until I was like well into my teens, I think. Yeah, you're probably right. But so. but you had Dollar General and uh, yeah, I got cap guns at Dollar General when I was growing up, and I really pissed them off when I was at the store because me and a cousin, we were a different cousin, we were there and, and we would just fire the damn guns in the store, and they'd be like, pop 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 pop. <laughs> And just pissed off the, st the staff there, something fierce. But it's like, why would you sell this shit that's really loud and noisy in the store and not have it, like, behind some sort of safety barrier or something? Yeah, these days they probably would. Yeah, if you're going to have it really noisy. I don't have a lighter here again, so if this thing goes out, it's the end of the fire. Well, yeah, and I'm about to put all of that wet wood on top of it, too, so... 
and leaves, wet wood and leaves. But anyway, here, here's what it looks like with some water in it. Good to get a shot of that. It's cool that you can see into it and actually see how it works. Yeah, in a lot of ways that's cooler than those stupid ass water super soakers. Yeah. Well, there you have it. And I'll, I'll put a link to the other video in the description. But uh, we're, in, we're coming into late summer now. Won't be long at all and it'll be fall. So kind of appropriate that we talk about this kind of stuff that in the waning days of summer. But uh, thanks for watching and subscribe to Captain Unusual for more trips down memory lane.